Beside a beautiful mountain lake on a peaceful morning in spring, a mother duck sat contently on her nest, awaiting a blessed event, the miracle of hatching. that somehow seemed to be having trouble hatching. Why, what beautiful babies. Aren't you glad to see them so healthy? Oh, yes, they're all fine. Except for this one last egg. Oh, may I see? It happens every once in a while, but you have five fine babies, so I wouldn't worry about it. Just forget about the last one. Mm. But of course, the mother duck couldn't just forget about the last egg. Maybe it just needed a little more time. Sure enough, the mother's patience is about to be rewarded. I've never seen such an ugly duckling. Whatever in the world could be wrong with it? <laughs> Hi! Nobody could be quite sure just what sort of a bird this strange gray thing might be. But he takes to water just like... Uh, uh, just like a duck takes to water. Wait! Go away! Oh, quit following oh, us! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's a terrible oh, feeling when you're brothers and sisters are ashamed to be seen with you. The ugly gray duckling couldn't sleep. He was lonely, confused, and so sad. Why am I so ugly when everybody else is so beautiful? Well, I guess I shouldn't stay where I'm not wanted. Wow, look at them! They must be the most beautiful creatures in the world. Gosh, I wonder where they're going. I sure wish they'd take me with them. Hey, wait! Take me with you, please! Since he couldn't fly, he would have to follow the beautiful creatures on foot. He walked and walked and walked and walked until he was so tired he didn't think he could take another step. He decided he would have to look for a place to lie down and rest for a while. to be my bed, kid. I'm sorry. I suggest you move on right now. Where should I go? As far away from me as you can get. Now beat it! Why does everybody hate me so? It isn't my fault I had to be born so ugly. Mm. Hey there, what you so sad about, little fella? Cheer up. Yeah, like if you're lost, you can come live with us, you know? We don't have much, but hey, you're welcome to oh, share. Okay. <laughs> sure, come along with us. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. <gasps> huh? 
was happening. One of those fearsome animals with such scary eyes, and they're coming this way. duckling. For the first time in his life, someone had been kind to him, and this was their reward. It seemed to be the little duckling's fate to wander the lonely world all by himself for the rest of his life. As spring turned to summer, and summer turned to fall, and then came the most difficult season of all, winter. Cold, lonely, sad winter. He thought it would never end, but there's always another spring. Oh, the water looked wonderful after all that ice and snow. He couldn't wait to swim again. The fish were happy to see spring arrive, too. The duckling watched them with envy. They didn't have to swim alone. They had friends all around them, but they weren't ugly. Oh, wow. It's the beautiful birds I saw last year. Oh, they're so graceful and wonderful. I wish I could be their friend, but I'm so ugly. If I go near them, they might kill me. Well, I don't care. Let them kill me. I'd rather be dead than go on living such a lonely, unhappy life. And he gathered up his courage and swam toward the swans. Excuse me. You're so beautiful. I just had to see you up close. You can kill me if you want to. I don't care. What a peculiar thing to say. Would you mind telling me why in the world I might want to kill you? Because I'm so ugly. Everybody hates me. I want so much to be your friend, but I know you wouldn't want an ugly thing like me around. I understand. What are you talking about? Who told you that you were ugly? Now, go look in the ice mirror and see for yourself what you really look like. The duckling did as he was told and looked into the ice mirror. Huh? Is that really me? Of course, you're a beautiful young swan. Now stop being silly and come play with us. Wow! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait for me! Wait for me! So the ugly duckling was really a swan. The mother duck had hatched a wrong egg by mistake. And just because he was different, the other ducks had been mean and called him ugly. When they see how beautiful he is now, they'll be sorry and jealous of the ugly duckling who grew up to be a beautiful swan. And of course, he lived happily ever after. The story of the ugly duckling reminds us we shouldn't feel sad if we're different from other people. Because being different can be a wonderful thing. <laughs>